To school. to school and I'm almost at my school and we're in the car right now. Tom, one. You, you want mama? Want mama? You want mama? No. no. Want mama cuddles? Want mama? No. no. You want booby milk? No. <laughs> Wanna take a nap on mom? No. no. Um, we, we were just um, filming and mommy and the, we were, um, everything we um, said was like, like baby food billion. she said no. All he does is just do this. No. No, 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 no. Maya is going to get dropped off. Yes. Bye, Maya. Love you. Love you. Say bye, Maya. Bye, Maya. We just got home. I am currently making my coffee. This is my husband's coffee. I cannot drink this. My anxiety would be sky high. And look how dirty. I mean, it, the Keurig's not dirty. It just splatters. And it's a white Keurig. That's what you got to expect. But... Um, yeah, anyways, we're making our coffee. We are just having, I really need to wipe this. Um, we are just having the Vernanda blend. Well, I will wipe that later. I'm too tired right now. I just want to enjoy my coffee. Oh, I'm also getting Charlie his cereal. He has cereal every morning. It's either Cheerios, whatever we have in there. Cheerios is his favorite, but today he's having this Christmas Captain Crunch. Um, and then he also chose a yogurt. So we're gonna start with that, and if he is still hungry, I'll cut up some apples for him. I'll get him some blueberries, but usually this is enough for breakfast for him. Okay, you guys already know my caramel macchiato creamer. It's so, so good. I also just started the dishwasher because I forgot to start it last night. Thank goodness there's no dishes besides my coffee spoon in there because that would have irritated me to be honest. Um, I don't like to have just dishes sitting in the sink. So got that started and we'll unload that later. I see you. Oh, you have a little tear. We just changed his diaper, wiped his booger nose. Yes, we did. Everyone clapping. Good job. Clapping. Good job, Tom Tom. Good job. This is how our mornings usually look. Tom Tom is playing with some toys. Sometimes I'll dump this basket out, but he kind of likes to just get the toys out himself. Mama, help. There you go, honey. I also put on Miss Rachel every morning so I can enjoy my coffee in peace just for a couple minutes. I put Tommy in his chair, got him all snuggled up just because he's tired. He has a runny nose. I can tell he's just exhausted. And you were up all night long. Yes, you were. Mr. Tommy is up from his nap and Charlie is over there throwing a fit. We're just gonna leave him be for a second. But we are gonna pick out a Christmas book to look at. Charlie loves this one, so maybe he'll come over here and help me. Our elf also came last night and he always shows up in the tree on the first day. Are you gonna come help me? Thank you. This is, hold on, I'm gonna show them. This is the Search and Find Christmas Fun. This is just from Walmart. And Charlie is really good at this. Yeah, where is that? Where's the tape? Yep. This is a new thing Tommy's been doing. I swear he's gonna stand up and walk one day. What are you doing? You found it? Oh, you found the donut. Thomas. What are you doing? What is a turret? What is a teddy bear? I just got the kids from school and I'm gonna have one of these Starbucks mocha frappuccinos and I'm gonna just add it in this coca-cola cup I need to go to the store at some point and get more straws but we will use what and our calendars for are chocolate. our chocolate advent yeah, calendars. But can't have a honey bun. Weston. We have very crabby kids today, but cheers. It's the afternoon. Tommy is crawling around and getting into everything. As you can see, he dumped out all of his diapers. Sometimes you just have to let your baby explore. And he is trying. Are you mad? He wants this cup so bad. What are you 
doing? All right, I need to shower, but I have no one to watch the baby, so they are being super helpful and bringing up the baby bouncer for me, so you can sit outside the bathroom. Yeah. I'm watching YouTube shorts. Who? Oh. Them. I'm looking up here first. No, what's in my... <laughs> <laughs> What thing I had to show me is says, what do you want the buddy thing? That was you. You came into my room several times to say, Maya, you need to check this out. My hair needs a good wash, you guys. Like, it is extremely bad. Um, it has just been a crazy week. So, like, I take a body. Wow. That's not okay. Um, we're going to brush this first. But I take a body shower every night. Like, that is, like, my routine. It is what helps me relax at night but i do not wash my hair every day because there's just really no need to so all week i have been needing to wash my hair but when i'm by myself it's just hard to find time and the past two nights tommy has been extremely crabby and not wanting to go to sleep okay my hair is all brushed out and i know it's like already oily but i'm going to add um pacifica beauty Scalp Love hair oil to my hair, even though my hair is already oily, but like that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to dry, dry scrub, I guess you could call it my hair. Now that my hair is nice and voluminous, volumized, voluminous, voluminous, is that a word? Volumized from this thing. I love this thing. Um, I'm gonna wash my hair. I gotta do this quick now because I have a kind of Spoon conditioner I am using is Bondi Boost. I have only been using this for the past like nine months. Not the HG um, duo specifically, but Bondi Boost in general. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been using. It's helped my hair so much. Not sponsored, by the way. I will leave all my hair products um, down below. It has been a couple, I would say probably like an hour, not even like a couple minutes, but Tommy screamed that entire time I was in the shower, and so my hair is kind of like air drying, and I have not put any products in it. So what I'm gonna use is, it's a 10. This is the Potion 10 Miracle Instant Repair Leave-In. Um, I've always wanted to try it. It's a 10. I found this at TJ Maxx. It was a really good price. I believe it was like... I don't even know. I ripped the tag off. It's probably like $7, $9. I don't even know. But I've always wanted to try it and it's kind of expensive. And so far, I really do like it. I should have said, I put this in first. This is the Coconut Milk Pacifica Detangler Elixir. Like I said, I'm going to leave all these products down below. This was from TJ Maxx, so it's probably going to be more on Amazon. Um, but Pacifica is at Target. Um, I think it's a 10 is at Target now that Ulta is there. Um, I'll just leave everything, like I said, linked down below. Just gonna brush. I'm gonna put it's a 10 in real quick because these front pieces are drying. If I blow dry it, I use of this catwalk blowout balm. I'm just gonna do those. We're just gonna do that on the ends. On blow dryer. Also, I'm like breaking out on my forehead. I think it's because I've been using Aquaphor, um, like straight up Aquaphor, the kind that like feels like petroleum jelly or Vaseline. And I've been using that on my forehead. I've been using it on my whole face. Um, and it does make your skin smooth, but now I'm like breaking out. Like I said, hair is done, hair is washed. And speaking of hair, I have a story for you guys that I want to, kind of like a rant that I want to tell you. No, Because we got... We got comfy, we got cozy in front of the Christmas tree, but I wanted to tell you the story. So over Thanksgiving break, I was um, just like scrolling on my TikTok and I follow a lot of like routine type videos. So like hair care routines, like just like day to day routines. And one of the girls that I follow on there, I do like her page, I do like her channel. And um, I was scrolling one day and I saw an ad on like her page, like her, which fine, like do an ad, get your coin, get your bag, whatever. We all have done, if you're a content creator, like an ad before. But what kind of threw me off is this channel 
or this page on TikTok, and I'm not gonna say her name. Anyways, so she came up on my following list, and it was for a Pantene ad. And I'm like, well, that's weird because I followed her page, you know, like for a while, and I've never once seen her use Pantene. Like, she uses all high end products, Orbe, to like very expensive products. And so she was saying in this video, careful she was saying in this video that this is what made her hair grow this is how she's getting her long beautiful hair so i'm like okay whatever scroll past it a day later you okay yeah. um a day later tommy's right here on the couch with gage he's not up there by himself but um a day later i go back on tiktok and her video pops up again and it's like a shower routine and she was showing the products obviously for her like what she uses in the shower and it's back to like the high end and no pantene and i'm like huh i wonder if anybody else caught that so i was scrolling through her comments they're basically saying like it wasn't just one comment either there was like multiple basically saying like i thought you used pantene um what about pantene um by the way i would never use pantene like they could not pay me enough to use Pantene. Like, no thank you. Anyways, and so people were commenting that and she replied back to one of her followers and was like, oh, it's just an ad, LOL. That is where it like sat wrong with me because what's what? the matter? It's because as a content creator, I believe you should only share stuff that you truly use like I, w I was having this conversation with gage in the car on the way home um from the cabin and i was saying if she really wanted to do like just an ad she should have done like a ugc like a user generated content where it didn't go up on her channel it only went up on the brand's channel and she shouldn't have said this is what i use to make my hair long and beautiful and healthy because she knows dang well that's not what she's using and she's she's basically lying to her followers i get it if you want to do a sponsorship do it but like when like don't lie to your followers don't lie to people who look up to you but like i said if she really wanted to do this ad if they were paying her well she should have negotiated where hey i'm not going to post this on my channel because it's not a product that i truly use or would recommend um but i can film content for you guys to use um, which is ugc you film for the brand and they can use it, but you don't have to post on your social channels. If you really wanted to post it on her channel, go for it, but she shouldn't have went to the point of telling her followers, this is what I use, this is how I make my hair grow, this is how I um, have long, luscious, healthy hair. That is just straight up lying. If she really wanted to put it on her channel, it would have just been, hey, this is Pantene, this is what it claims it does, you can find it here at like Target Walmart. Not claiming that it actually did something for her hair. I don't know. It just sat wrong with me and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then when she commented back to a follower and said, oh, it's just an ad, lol. Like you're pretty much saying, yeah, I lied to you, but I'm more concerned about the money. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Because as like a content creator, you want to get like on a personal level with your followers. You want to be relatable. And when content creators do things like that it's not really relatable anymore you know like you feel like you don't know if they're being genuine or if they're being honest with you or if the product is actually good let me know what you guys think i'm gonna end this vlog thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you are not already and we'll talk to you in our next one